Azim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself, Ana Abdul Aji Su Daeefu, Miskeenu Zalim and Jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah the holy month of Rabbi Thani has opened and the immensity of its lights and blessings inshaAllah Allah dress us from its immensities and from this oceans of the power of nine by the fourth month opens the reality of 36. Alhamdulillah 36 is for Surat Yaseen, Yaseen al-Sharif and inshaAllah the Surah Yaseen is the guiding of this month and the power for this month. Alhamdulillah the 36th Ismullah is Al-Ali, the highest and the Ismu Rasul وسلم, is Muhi, the one whom revives and brings back to life. And Alhamdulillah the tajalli in which Allah dressed the light of Sayyidina Muhammad for 9000 of Allah's years, Subhana Rafi al-Ala and the dhikr that was Allah's zikr upon that holy light. Subhana Rafi al ula means glory be the one to the one, the elevated one. And so alhamdulillah that Allah grant for us this uh, immense lights of Surat Yaseen and the immensities of the heart of Qur'an that is taught that Surat Yaseen is the heart of Qur'an and that Sayyidina Yaseen وسلم, is one of Prophet Wasallam's names, Yaseen and that Allah granted from this Habibullah Yaseen and the, the love of Allah and that this is the heart of Holy Qur'an and from all the teaching Manzil Qur'an. The emanation in which Holy Qur'an is emanating from that reality so we pray that Allah dress us from the immensities of, of Surat Yaseen and the immensities of, of the, the light of Surat Yaseen and that Allah gives to us, <coughs> we can recite the first, let's see we're gonna go. <coughs> The first, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Five, inshaAllah, of Surah Yaseen. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم صدق الله العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم وبركاته الكريم حبيب العظيم
Auzu billahi min shaitan rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Allah Zabajal is now swearing by this reality, Ya and Seen. So by the haqqaiq of Ya and Seen then this is Wal Qur'an al Hakim and by every hikmah and wisdom of Holy Qur'an Allah Zabajal is directing us to this holy name and these holy letters and that indeed you are from our messengers that Allah is addressing to Sayyidina Yaseen and then dressing that reality with every wisdom and every knowledge and every reality of Holy Qur'an is illuminating the reality of Ya and Seen, Tanzeel Azizul Raheem and that this Tanzeel what is a revelation or movement from this reality from the oceans of Sifat al Rahim. That this is coming from the oceans of Malakut into the world of form, Tanzil Azizul Raheem. That Tanzil is like a, for us to understand on this reality is that Allah is giving this source of power. That this knowledge and this power that coming to your earth, to your form, to every created existence is from Sifat al Rahim. Because Sifat al Rahim and the holy name of Rahim different than Rahman. Rahman, Al Rahman has to do with the world of form, everything has manifested. It's under the dominion of Sifat and the name of Allah Al Rahman. And then Allah directing to us that this power and these knowledges and these realities this heart of Sayyidina Muhammad, this heart of Holy Qur'an is Tanzil Azizul Raheem. That this is coming from Sifat Raheem, from the world of light, from the world of the unseen, from the world that's eternal, it is the source of power bringing upon this reality. That its power source is eternal, it's not something that can be extinguished it's not something that can be killed, it's not something that can be destroyed that Allah is giving for us this is an eternal reality and that is the source of all these powers and all this reality dressing this holy heart because the reality of Surat Yaseen is heart of Qur'an which can't even be understood that the, the non-manifest speech of Allah its heart, its center of power Allah is giving to us the realities of Ya and Seen, Ya Seen which is the name and a name of Prophet So the immensity of the oceans of these knowledges for us to understand Ya I have it Ya all the way to Al Alif all the way to Ya that we said that everything is created from Muhammadun Rasulullah that everything Allah has created from the light of Prophet especially the alphabet because it's created from what? It's created from Muhammadun Rasulullah So means that every letter is from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah So we move these letters and everything is comprised of these letters and numbers so means that everything is from that ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah And in the regular alphabet you start with alif and you end with ya. And that this alphabet is the building block of every knowledge, right? If you want to convey knowledge you, you put alif, ba, ta, you combine letters to make words and words to make sentences 
These sentences are Allah's conveyance of knowledges. So all of Holy Qur'an is a series of letters. Allah constructed them for words, these words into sentences, this become the kalam and then this become Ayatul Kareem, then becomes the Holy Surah. So all of this knowledge is foundation. So it's like when you see a building, you see this is a mashallah beautiful building, yes. Now Allah is going like brick by brick that the beauty of the building is based on the realities of its bricks. Means that the power and the izza and might of Holy Qur'an, this Divinely speech from Allah Allah giving us now brick by brick of its power. That for, for you to understand these words that are coming out, Allah put from these Muhammadan lights, what we call letters because they're created from somewhere. They're not created from La ilaha illallah, these letters are comprised from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah because everything perfect tawheed, everything must exist within La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah means that La ilaha illallah is the power for Muhammadun Rasulullah so it means that every reality is being dressed by this. So it means that this alif that we see from every secret and every letter from alif all the way to ya are the building blocks of all knowledges. And since these secrets are always circular, means that if we start at alif all the knowledges and letters everything you end with ya. So then ya actually becomes combined to look like this, it connects from behind the alif. So the symbol of ya is a symbol of every knowledge, every reality, right? You're making like a packet like in computer programming that you're saying that from every alif through every letter, all 27 letters to the ya, I'm going to make it into a power packet and put it with ya alif and that becomes a way of calling. But more important it denotes the secret that this pact between this alif and ya comprises every letter and every letter is the reality of every word. Because every word is comprised of these letters. So it means that this symbol of Ya in Yaseen because this is now the heart and the power of Qur'an that's coming out, Allah is giving to us that this Ya is a symbol of every kalam, every knowledge that's going to come. Because this knowledge that manifests on people's books, everything written was from these letters. These letters their owner is Sayyidina Muhammad and this is what we describe as uloom al awwaleen wa akhireen. That every knowledge from its beginning to its end Allah created that knowledge from the light of Prophet And as a result he is the secret of this ya. Because we're saying it's the name of Prophet it's the heart and the center and the power of Holy Qur'an. And then we see the scene. So some people who are new they don't understand sometimes when we say, Ilmu yaqeen, Aynu yaqeen, Haqqu yaqeen. And you see the scene looks like a W in English. You have a line for Ilmu yaqeen. Aina yaqeen, haqqa yaqeen. Like when you make a W, the lines on the top are denoting like oceans. One line of it is the knowledge of certainty, the vision of certainty, and the truth of certainty. Means that this ya 
and every knowledge and every reality that's flowing from that. And that all these knowledges they enter into this ocean of the secret. So all of existence is in search of this secret, Nurul Anwar wa Siratul Asrar. The light of every secret and the secret of every light, everything. Nothing escapes that reality other than what Allah does not want to manifest. Means the immensity that Allah is giving to us in the holy name of Yaseen because now you're going into the inner works of this power of Qur'an. This Qur'an and Majeed that's not created and then Allah is giving now its elements and the source of its power, it's coming from the heart of the soul of Prophet what we would understand is a qalb. Of Lam Ba, that Allah's divinely speech to this Ba, to this Bahr Qudra, to this ocean of power. Means this is now like the, 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 the symbol of this power that's coming out, and that this Ya is the symbol of certainty, the certainty of all knowledges, all realities. And it flows into this secret, and all that we want is Allah to dress us from this sirr. But the Sallahu Siru, what we say, may Allah sanctify the shaykh's secret, means their whole quest in life were these knowledges. That their quest was to enter into the ocean of power, the immensity of how much they could enter into the power, its result was knowledges. Means the one whom deficient in power, deficient in knowledges because it's the proximity of their soul entering into the ocean of power. The Qudra, the Divine Energy, somebody asked before, is the Prophet ever talk about Qudra? That's all there is, is the talk of Qudra. The world of form doesn't exist, it's all its manifestations is based on energy. And the result of that energy is a praise and a hamd and that Prophet is the most hamd, most praised one. Means these are the immense oceans of power and that Allah granting to us the proximity of that ocean, the realities of that ocean. And that when we say, Ya, all the oceans of certainty of knowledges they come as a packet. So for when Allah want to grant a knowledge to the servant, He dresses them from the secret of that Ya. So it comes in and it unpacks itself. Means in the alif will dress the servant's soul, the ba will dress the servant's soul. Every letter all the way to the Ya of Yaqeen will dress the servant's soul like a packet, like a zip file. When Allah grant the Ya, they merely bring into their heart and soul and they begin to unzip the file and every knowledge and its infinite capacity. So when Allah gives these 28 letters, 29 with Lam Alif means that the possibility is infinite, right? Because you just keep adding letters, they become different words, different kalam, different sentences. So the knowledge then is infinite. How much Allah want to grant the servant then that's the immensity of the proximity into the oceans of power. That in their tafakkur, in their contemplation they ask to negate themselves and that Allah to dress them from the ocean of power. Not the ocean of visions, not the oceans of distractions, not the oceans of illusion and delusion, that's why they're teaching. That this is a journey to the Lord of power that Sayyidina Ibn Arabi Siru was describing in his books and all awliyaullah describe in their books, don't become distracted on your journey and when in which you stop reaching for energy and power 
that you negate yourself and let me go deeper into the power and negate myself and let me go deeper into that lightning, into that ocean. But they become distracted with the visions and they enter in and get locked upon the imaginal world in which they imagine they're something, imagine they're seeing, imagine they're feeling but yet not entering into these oceans of power. And the proximity into their ocean of power, its end result is the abundance of angelic realities and, and manifestations flowing from them and then these are the knowledges. Allah dress the servant in this holy month with the reality of ya and seen which Allah is describing, this is Tanzil Aziz Raheem. That this is coming from the oceans of Raheem in which not from this, not from this reality. This is from the world of Malakut, the one who controls inside, controls outside. The one whom only focuses on his outside authority controls nothing, not his in and not his out, he's delusional. The one whom controls and has power and authority from inside, not only controls inside but controls everything outside because the inner power controls everything, outer controls nothing, only delusional. People whom only have external, they think they have an authority but this immense reality is that internal controls everything, controls the in and controls the out. So means this ocean of power and the immensity of the ocean of power is what's being sought and Allah dress it on the fourth month that you're entering into ya and seen. And that throughout this beatific surah we'll get to the secret of the heart of this heart Salaamu qawlun min Rabbil Raheem because again it's not easy to put this in, in words but you're talking about this power of Qur'an coming out and then you're talking about the, the secret of that power is in Sifat Raheem has a high meem, Ra high meem, Raheem is in the world of light. And Allah is describing for us that from that power this ya and seen will dress your soul if Allah gives permission. Later in Holy Surah, Ayatul Kareem, Salaamu Qawlun Min Rabbir Raheem and a word of peace from the Lord of Raheem. And so many hadith for external people to understand that seek out this salams from the Lord of Sifat of Raheem because it means that Allah has granted a satisfaction and a, a certainty and pleasure upon that servant's soul. That He's granting them salams, that I'm granting my salams, I'm granting my peace, my du'a upon this soul and that everything the angels hear that command and everything in creation will be told that Allah has granted His salams upon this soul. So that why? So that this Sifat Raheem begins tanzila, begins to emit the reality of ya and seen within their holy soul. That they're inheriting the Muhammadan heart and as a result all these knowledges and realities will begin to blossom within their soul. They're giving like the building blocks of how these shaykhs got knowledges. It's not that they memorize something or that they had photographic memory, that's the cheating way. The one who has photographic memory maybe appears to have a knowledge. But these are those whom they don't know anything. And what Allah has bestowed upon them is an opening of light within their eternal soul and eternal heart and as a result of that like a flower bud it enters in and Allah begin to nourish its realities and its bloom is infinite in capacity. There is no number of knowledge, 
There's no limit of knowledge and that's why Allah describes above every knower there's another knower. That Allah's servants are infinite, their capacities are infinite, their worshipness is infinite and our life is to lead a life of humility in which we are humble and that Ya Rabbi dress us from the reality of this Ya. Means then how can the one whom has no reverence and the one whom did not celebrate the milad, did not acknowledge the birth, the birth of all these realities. Somebody emailed and said that, how do you know that Prophet is, is, is the best of all of Allah's creation? So basically I couldn't answer and email back is that you have to study, you know you don't come to ask us questions. Don't, don't take help me as your school where you're going to ask me every type of question, how's this, why is this, why is this? You have to do your schooling yourself. You go to our websites and begin to learn, watch the videos and begin to educate. These knowledges and help me is, is for us to find that Shaykh we describe this, can you explain it deeper for me? To give an explanation of our teachings, not to give a proof and dalil. You go educate yourself to get your own proof. This whole channel is about the, the greatness of the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Its ocean has no left, no right, no front, no back, no above and no below. There's no ability to even to, to comprehend the greatness and the immensity in which Allah wa rafahna laka dhikra that have we not raised your dhikr that the immensity of the name Muhammadun Rasulullah and 201 known names from Dalai al Khirat that it's immensity that Allah every reality and every secret is in that reality and that everything comes from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah How can anything lesser be more important? If Allah took from Muhammadun Rasulullah Hadith Jabba, what was the first thing that Allah created was the light of your Rasul That there was no Kaaba, there was no Bayt al Mahmur, there was no Arsh, there was no throne, there was no angel. There was nothing but La ilaha illallah and nothing is existing within that reality. Allah is a treasure wanting to be known, not saying that you will know me, that I want it to be known and I created creation. So where is creation? It's not in La ilaha illallah, that's why we say it, it's to confirm no, there is nothing but Allah with Allah And that's why we have the kalimah is that we have to add to the kalimah, Muhammadun Rasulullah Means that everything exists within the light, that Allah created Muhammadun Rasulullah as a light, a light of truth and then let there be light from that light. Allah created then the heavens, the angels, paradises and throne and the kursi, the chair, all of that. And all of that written upon it, Muhammadun Rasulullah So everything that made from Muhammadun Rasulullah what then do you think is then the greatest of Allah's creation? The, the, the creation in which Allah finds to be the greatest sign of His reality is the is the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah Every Prophet is from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah Every Mala'ika M is from the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah Every structure in paradise, Bayt al-Mahmud, Mahmud, Maqam al-Mahmud, <laughs> all, all these symbols Allah is giving to us that everything is created from Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why when you come to the channel you have to be patient with what little you think you know 
meditate, contemplate and begin to watch the channels. You can binge, take on playlists and just keep watching one after another to bring yourself up to speed with these knowledges and these realities <clears throat> so that you can keep your heart to follow with the immensity of these realities. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensities of this holy month and that Allah dress us from the realities of Sayyidina Yaseen Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun wa mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.